With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. Today' question is: A is a square matrix of order n. Here, they are given l equal to maximum number of distinct entries of A is a triangular matrix, and m equal to maximum number of distinct entries. If A is a diagonal matrix, P equal to minimum number of zeros. If A is a triangular matrix, then we have to find L plus five equal to P plus two M. We have to find the order of matrix of the given condition. Okay, so so first I am going to write down the given condition. So L plus five equal to P plus two M. So this is what they are given. First I am going to take this equation number one. Next. Here A is a square matrix. They are given, right? A is a square matrix, and L is a maximum number of distinct entries of A is a triangular matrix, right? So let assume. Let assume here. Let assume all non-zero elements. Non-zero elements in a triangular matrix. Non-zero elements in triangular matrix are distinct functions are distinct so the maximum value so the maximum number is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n so the maximum value because for one value it is 1 so second row it is 2 so that like that it will go on therefore therefore maximum numbers equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n okay so, so here this is value here because the first column there is one non-zero element and the second column there are two non two elements so first column it is one element second column it is uh, two element third column third element like that it's so on up to n column it will get n values right therefore therefore the l equal to therefore l equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n which is equal to i'm going to return as n into n plus 1 divided by 2 so this is the l value here next i'm going to find the m value here next m value so m is the maximum number of distinct right m is the maximum number of distinct entries of di a diagonal matrix so here let us assume here so let assume all non zero elements are distinct okay so distinct so in each so in each column there is one non zero elements okay so therefore in each column one non zero elements are there okay so therefore therefore each column one non-zero elements non-zero elements are there therefore m equal to first column one value second column one value third column one value up to last column okay so up to last column therefore the n number of terms so it is n number of terms right therefore therefore m value equal to n value so m equal to n so it is number of terms n so it is i'm going to take a, this is m okay so next next value i'm going to take here p value so p is the minimum number of zero of your triangular matrix okay so i'm going to take a p here so p is the minimum number of zeros in a triangular matrix so let us assume here let assume all elements all elements in and above in and above or below of the diagonal okay so diagonal Okay, so diagonal in the triangular matrix is non-zero. So of the diagonal in the triangular matrix, 
in the triangular matrix is non-zero. Therefore, therefore, minimum number of zeros is n square. The minimum number of zeros is n square. That means the n square value I am going to turn as n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So, this is the value I am going to take on here. Okay, so, so sorry, this is not the n square, it is n square minus 1. So, it is total value and then minus 1. Total value minus the n term here. Okay, so therefore, this is the p value, right? So, I am going to simplify this p value here. So, p equal to n square minus n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, so now I am going to take the LCM here. So, 2 n square minus, I am going to take multi n inside. So, n square plus 1, n square plus n. And then whole divided by 2. Okay, so, so this is the value of P. And then here, this value, 2n square minus n, right? So, I am going to sim so simplify this one. So, it will become n square plus n. Okay, so this is minus value here it is inside. So, this is the minus value. Why? Because I am going to take this minus value also inside. So, it is minus n. So, it is minus n student. So, it is minus n divided by 2. So, this is the p value here. Okay, so, so I am going to all substitute all the values in equation 1. Okay, so, so I am going to substitute all the values in equation 1. So, equation I am going to turn as L plus 5 equal to P plus 2M, right? L plus 5 equal to P plus 2M. So, I am going to substitute all the value. So, the L value equal to what we get? N into N plus 1 divided by 2, right? So, I am going to substitute here. So, N into N plus 1 divided by 2 plus 5 equal to p value equal to n square minus 1 divided by 2 plus 2 m value so m value i'm going to turn as m equal to n i'm going to substitute here so n okay so now i'm going to solve all the values here okay so here i'm going to multiply this n inside so n square plus n here take lcm here plus 10 n square plus n divided by 10 divided by 2 which is equal to here i am going to this value is n, n square mi minus n right so i am going to take the lcm here so n square minus n plus 4n divided by 2 so denominator 2 2 cancel here same value so i am going to cancel this one and then here n square plus 10 right n square plus n plus 10 which is equal to n square here minus n plus 4n so value equal to plus 3n here n square n square cancel here 1n and 1n will cancel here. so 2n is there therefore 2n equal to 10 right so therefore n value equal to 10 by 2 which is equal to which is equal to n equal to 5. So, this is the value. So, this is the value n. So, therefore, order of matrix equal to 5. Therefore, order of matrix equal to 5. Okay, so, therefore, if you see here, the order of matrix is, uh, matrix of this uh, given condition is 5. Okay, students, thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.